Remember our cross-country trip last year? The colossal storm ripped through and our tent blew away. I remember shivering as we toweled off. I never would have asked to get caught in that storm, but I'm sure glad we did. All right, Brandon, uh, coaches like to preach to their players, do the things that they can control. Ball control probably tops that list in this one. Well, I've never seen anything like that. Uh, like I said earlier, we played a great first half. I mean, really did. Bell Vernon's a really good football team. 14-14, uh, uh, you know, get the ball in the second half coming out. Um, we knew weather was coming, so we took a shot, turned the ball over on downs. Uh, Unfortunately, and then the rains came, and they punch one in shortly after the rain go, comes, and uh, we get the ball back. Luke gets a cramp, comes out, we fumble the snap. Give him the ball inside the 15, 10, whatever it was. Uh, they score. Uh, next possession, Luke gets a cramp, we fumble the ball. Then the ball just became like a foreign object to us. Uh, we could not hold on to it. I've never seen anything like, I don't know how many fumbles, maybe you count it. I hope so. But, uh, we couldn't catch a toss. We couldn't hold on to it. A dive. We couldn't get a hand off. It was just a debacle of errors. Once the rain showed up, and we basically gave them a football game without a fight in the second half. After uh, we were right in it in the first half, so it's uh, those things are going to happen, I guess, as you go down the road. It's just it's it's tough, you know. The night <laughs> being so fresh, it's tough to take, uh, but we'll get better and they'll learn from it. They'll get tougher mentally, more resilient, and find a way to keep uh, playing 48 minutes. But uh, yeah, the wheels just came off in the second half after a great first half. So. I know you're not going to blame weather for turnovers or stalling out, but it really seemed to shift the momentum right about that time. Well, anytime you turn the ball over, it's bad news. And when you give it to them right on their doorstep, uh, you're, it's a death wish. And uh, we did that multiple times to, once the rain hit. And uh, you just can't do that. And then it's tough to recover because momentum's now on their side. And you got to throw the ball in the rain and try to make things happen to get back in the football game. And, uh, then we got guys just falling down with cramps and injuries. And uh, it was pretty unbelievable second half. But uh, we'll bounce back next week. Big game down at Trinity. And uh, we'll practice hard and we'll try to get better. And, uh, hopefully find a way to learn to win. Uh, it started out the way I'm sure you would have envisioned it. 17 play drive takes almost the entire second quarter. I'm sure that's what you're looking for every time. I mean, that's, that's what we want to do. Uh, we're not explosive. We've been, we can make some explosive plays here and there, but uh, we want to control the clock and grind the football in our triple option offense. And um, we took advantage of, uh, you know, just about every opportunity we had in the first half. And yeah, 17 plays. Uh, and to punch it in right with a minute to go and then stop them going into halftime and we're getting the ball coming out. Man, I, uh, I was stoked. I, I thought we were right where we needed to be. Uh, it felt right. And uh, then the rain came. But uh, we played a good first half. I mean, we, wow, I mean, Bell Vernon's a good team. I mean, like I said, we're, we're really, really close, but we're really, really far away. And it's just such a fine line between uh, Climbing over that last hurdle to becoming a really good football team. And uh, we're not quite there yet, but we're going to keep working at it. You've got to take the good with the bad. Just what, uh, what does this team have, have coming ahead this week? Well, Trinity, I haven't got a chance to look at them too much. But, uh, you know, they're always big and uh, like to run the ball at you. And um, it's a long drive for us down there, obviously, a two-hour bus ride. Um, but we just got to find a way and forget about this week and forget about the negative things and stay positive and that's coaches as well I mean uh, fix it I mean we got to be resilient if the rains come okay if it snows okay if the turf catches on fire okay we got to stay focused on winning our doing our job and in the task at hand and we didn't do that very well tonight and it cost us uh, having a chance to pull off a great victory I think uh, we just gave it away after two and a half quarters of fighting so